Hello and welcome to my OpenCV tutorial on people detection based on the OpenCV histogram of oriented gradients. So this is pretty simple and short code. So let's start by including the OpenCV2 oh, header file like so. And let's create the main function. And first we of course want to open the picture on which we do the people detection. So let's just write cv mat image equals cv im read and as an argument we just give the picture a name like so so you can use some of your own picture with people on it and as always it's good to check if it was actually open so you can just write if not image.data return minus one so if we it was not successfully opened we can just quit the program right away okay then let's initialize the hog descriptor like so and name it hog and then hog set super vector machine detector and because we are doing people detection we want to get cv hog descriptor and get default people detector which will return the coefficients of classifier and trained for people detection okay we also need a vector of rect, like so. Let's name it detections. So here we will save all the detections from the picture. Okay, then we have everything and we can just do the detection itself. So let's write hoc.detect multiscale. So detects objects of different sizes. And first we give the image, then we give the vector detections. Then is the hit result, window stride, so we have to use cv, size, 8, 8. <coughs> then is the padding, so cv, size, 32, 32. Then there is scale, 1.2, and finally final result, and 2. So it's a good idea to go read the documentation on this or maybe even read the histogram of oriented gradients paper to understand what all of this mean and if this detection doesn't work well for you you might want to play around with these values to get a better results for your picture okay so now we have done the detection now we just need to draw the boxes around the detection so let's just loop through the detection so for auto reference detection detections and if you've seen my other tutorials this is familiar so cv rectangle first the image then detection dot tl which is top left corner then detection dot bottom right corner vr so this is how it knows where to draw the detection and then we just give it some color so cv scalar and for example red color like so zero zero and finally we can give the line width maybe two one two is okay okay and then we want to display the picture so cv name window let's name it picture and i think that's enough and finally cv in show picture and image like so and then cv rate key Zero, so it will not close immediately and let's just return zero at the end to show that the program ended successfully so let's press f1 sorry f5 and let's see if it compiles and yes okay and we get a pretty good results all the standing people are detected correctly there's someone behind the trash can, some people sitting that don't work so well, but it's quite okay. 
Now you might notice that the boxes are quite big compared to the humans. And later we will combine this with our multi-object tracker in the previous video. So, and that will affect the performance. So we might want to make them a little bit smaller. So let's create uh, another function here, like void resize boxes. And we will take the rect as a reference there. We can name it box, for example. So then the box x. And let's see we round box dot read times zero point one. Oh box dot read times zero point one like so then box dot read equals CV round ah yes sorry this is actually C V round it goes all together like so box dot read and let's do times zero point eight then again box dot y plus C V round box dot height times 0 0.06 and then box dot height equals C V round box dot height multiplied by 0 0.8. Again these are just some values you can a little bit play around with them and get that size of boxes you want. And then we need to call this function. Let's so let's call it here just before we just before we draw the rectangles. So resize boxes and we will give the detection there like so. And as it's by reference, we don't need to kind of return anything as it's a void function. It will just automatically be used here. Okay, and let's just run it again, f5. And as we can see, the boxes are much smaller and kind of correspond better to the actual size of the detections. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, on the next video, we will combine this detection on the multi-object tracker of the previous video. So this way we don't have to manually choose the, choose the objects that we want to track. So we will Use the histogram of orient gradients to find the interesting people to detect, and then we will use the multi object tracker to actually track them. Okay, thank you for watching, and see you on the next video.